Welcome to another episode of Greg versus the Storage Room of Doom. Today, we're going to be taking on and hopefully organizing the front end, or what I'm calling the front end of the storage room, with the goal being, one, to be able to walk around in here freely. That would be nice. Two, to have some space to actually work on things if we need to. And then three, get rid of things that I don't need and just reorganize stuff in general. There's a lot going on here. And I've got this entire afternoon kind of freed up to do this. So let's do a little before shot where you can see just how bad things are. I'm a little embarrassed to even show pretty much any of this, but maybe this will inspire somebody else out there in a similar situation. Maybe it looks like you're a hoarder. Maybe you just do a lot of projects and you don't clean up after them, which is kind of my case. Uh, it's never too late. There is hope for you and you can fix things, which is what we're going to do in today's episode of Greg versus the storage room of doom. First things first, we need some space to be able to work in here. And these dinosaurs are not helping our situation very much. I bought these for $25 at a yard sale thinking that I could flip them all. I thought they were all Jurassic Park ones. These big ones are, but a lot of these are just like silly little rubber ones. That being said, I might be able to sell them on eBay, but I need to make this a focus to get these sold, which I'm not gonna do right now because that literally would be my entire afternoon. So we're just gonna put these out of the way for right now. And I'm just gonna do like a mass listing. I think maybe list these two big ones and then I'll try to pull all the little ones together and maybe somebody out there, any dinosaur enthusiasts watching, I'll even throw in this crazy thing for free. If we have some dinosaur fans, I'd love to sell these to you and then use that money for, uh, for another one of my hobbies that tends to uh, occupy a lot of my space, time, and money. The three obstacles of, of every collector of anything. One nice thing about having stuff sitting everywhere is that I'm currently using a box for a tripod. So that is kind of helpful, but I'm gonna put these back here in the eBay shipping area. Actually, I wanna bring you back here because I wanna show you what I'm selling these days. I'm done doing the bins. These two fuel bottles that I have down here, that's gonna be the end of it. I'm not doing the bins anymore. It's kind of a waste of my time, but I wanna show you some stuff I have to sell, starting with this back here. And you might be able to see it, but I have about 66 sealed Happy Meal toys that I plan to put on eBay to sell. I have this dream of having an online toy and game store, and that's gonna be the start of it. As are all these unsealed, or opened, I guess you could say, Happy Meal toys. All these Thomas trains that I got as well, they're there. And then we got all these ones as well. So I could literally have an entire store of just Thomas stuff. And I'm like hesitant to even sell these because they're, they're really cool. But I feel like if I'm gonna do anything train related, I think it's either going to be Lego or as much as I really don't need another hobby. I was thinking about doing like an O scale train setup. Probably the last thing I need is a new hobby. So let's just forget about that. This thing here. Um, should I sell this? I bought this to play arcade games using my PC and my PlayStation. But then a few years later, I got this. And this has pretty much every arcade game that you could ever imagine installed on this lovely little thumb drive there. So it's like, what am I going to do with this? But I don't think I'm ready to part with it just yet. So we'll just find a place to put it in storage that's not necessarily like in our way. One thing I have a lot of in the storage room are totes. In fact, they're pretty much everywhere. These are like all of our decorations. This is the one section that is Cody's stuff, which I consider decorations to kind of be her thing. Everything else in here is all mine, and that's kind of crazy, but we have one sitting here, and I'm not sure why it's here. Oh, oh boy. These are all sealed Lego poly bags. And I have a lot of these. We used to do this thing called mail time, and people send us so much stuff, and I'm, I'm so thankful for that but it really did start stacking up to the point to where uh, we ended up with a lot of things, which is why I kind of shut mail time down. Some of these I bought myself too, and just never got into. Popcorn carts, we still have those. Like I got, I've got plenty of them. Thinking maybe a better solution for these would be to put them in some empty drawers we have over here. I haven't quite finished this off yet, but it'd be nice to have the Lego stuff all over there and to get this like kind of out of here. This trek back here gets a little difficult because of all these moving boxes that are in the way. These are all of the Lego sets that we built in our old house. Prior to moving here, I packed these all up and they've literally been sitting in these boxes for nearly five years now. And I think it might be time to send them to a new home because obviously they're not serving me in any way. In fact, they're making it very difficult for me to do pretty much anything over here, which this is my new Lego storage system. I can't even get these drawers out of here 
because of that. Sugar Shack. Talk about having too much stuff. What's, oh gosh, they're all built Lego things in there. Don't ask me how I did it, but I was somehow able to secure three of those drawers and I'm hoping that's enough to put all these in. I'm not gonna organize these in any way. These are just gonna be labeled sealed poly bags and we're just gonna throw them all in here to either be built or sold or something happen. I have enough poly bags to do poly bag Wednesday for the next probably 10 years. I was close, it wasn't three drawers, it was actually four, but I have them all loaded up in there and then we've got this freed up. And ideally, this just leaves. I don't fill this up with anything else, but maybe if there's something that would be more appropriate in there, I could do that. But for now, an empty tote is cleared and then I can actually probably donate this to Clarkman so he can put some of his stuff in there. One of my favorite organization things that I own is this Brother label printer. And I printed out four of the sealed poly bags labels and they're all going on the front. So when I walk over there, I can just see that that's what they are. Even though these are clear so you can see through, but I like having labels. There we go. Four drawers dedicated to nothing but poly bags. While I was over there, I found a little something that I've been wanting to do something with for a while. And that is someone a long time ago. Let's find the date. December 1st, 2020. They sent us the Minecraft Mountain Cave. I don't know if all the pieces are here, but I would love to inventory this and actually build this set. I think that would be absolutely insane. I don't know where we're gonna put it. I guess in Clarkman's Minecraft world, if you can find a spot. But I've been wanting to do that forever and this has been like just sitting literally now for almost four years. The tale of pretty much everything in the storage room of Doom. I also wanted to complete this. I bought this from a fan and as you can see, there's some pieces that are missing, but I would love to have this set complete. Even though it's not gonna go into our amusement park, I think it's a great Ferris wheel. Just way too big for the scale for what we're doing. And uh, I just wanted to see if we can complete this and I think I can do it. But the biggest thing is that I don't want it sitting here anymore because that is half of my walking space. I'm definitely filming this just in case this falls. It can become a drop test for my Lego channel. I don't know whether it's good news or bad news, but it made it out to my table safely. And I'm just kind of marveling at this how good it looks. We've got minifigs down here too, but I don't think this is too far from being complete. I'm just going to have to kind of look around it a bit and order some parts on BrickLink. I know we're just shuffling things around, but that made a huge difference already. Next thing, miscellaneous cables. You can tell by the label about the cable. Oh, I even got a battery in here too. Yeah, we've got a lot of news and oh, I should put this in with my batteries. It goes in there. I wish I had a better way of organizing these and, and I might coming in the mail. I had a company reach out and say, hey, would you like to try our storage drawers? And I'm like, yeah, I've got a few things that I could probably try storing. So these are all just random cables, some of which I'll probably never use. Why don't I find a spot up on top of this? I feel like up in the corner, since I don't access this that much, that'd be great for it to go up there. And I'm sure I could find a nice spot for it, but we've got some work to do to get over there and a whole lot of other things to do. So we'll just set this aside for now. And again, I know this feels like we're just shuffling, but that's kind of what I need to do to get to where I want to. These things here, I need to go through this and determine like what I still need and what I don't need. For now, I'm just going to close these up and uh, focus on bigger priorities, which is making space in here. I happen to own two toolboxes. This one was my dad's, and then this one was mine. Cody got me that for, I think Christmas or my birthday, one of the first years that we were together. What I really should do, I should make one toolbox and then get the thing on the wall where all my tools are up there. Wouldn't that be nice to have one of those corkboard things where I can just grab things off here? I bet I could hook it into those things too. I should probably focus on the task at hand instead of dreaming about what I could do, but it's definitely something to keep in the back of my mind for tour organization. So for now with this, I'm just gonna get the drawers put back in here and we'll put them under here in my new spot that I have thanks to my very first storage room versus Greg video where I put all my RC stuff in there. There was a point where I had this organized with some rhyme or reason where it was like my most used stuff and my least used stuff or something like that. That was a while ago and I have no idea what I was trying to do, but I think we'll just, we'll just try to put this stuff all back in here and at least get it out of the way and off the floor and put those there.
man, I think that's really nice. It may seem small to you, but I have to celebrate this victory because we now have a floor that I can easily walk around in. And to make matters even better, all of the stuff that I still need to take care of is confined to this table and this table, just the tops of these. And if I can get this all cleared off and organized, this is gonna be a huge win for the front of the storage room. Let's focus our attention on this table and the, uh, I found my cell phone, one of my first cell phones I found in a backpack. So I'm kind of curious to see if there's any pictures or anything on here, or even if it, even <laughs> it charges or turns on. But I started this project with the controllers a while ago, and I had one more thing I wanted to do. I wanted to put some new sticks on this one. So I'm going to do that real quick, and then I'm going to jettison all of these extra parts, maybe just smash them with a hammer, potentially. Ooh, that one was fighting me. It was a lot different. These are actually screwed in, which was not the case on the other one that I did. That's interesting. But really, all I'm trying to do is just, just get to these thumb thumbsticks. That's literally it. So we'll just pop that off. Keep our lives simple here. We'll put new ones on. New sticks, buttons work. Before I put everything back on though, I'm gonna clean this up nicely because there's a lot of gunk in here. This controller and that new design with this piece being separate was an absolute battle. I spent a lot of time fighting it, but everything is back together. I just cleaned it up real nice with some electronics wipes. All of the controls work and I've got new sticks on it. It just cost me way more than it needed to. Now for the good part, all this stuff, I'm letting go. I've got enough PS3 controllers that I don't need to piece any more together and these ones are, are pretty junk. This is definitely something that I'm excited to finally put on the completed projects list. Bad news about this old LG phone. No power to it. Battery must be absolutely pooched. The nice thing is, this is back when phones had removable batteries, so I could try buying one of these, but I don't know if there's anything on this that would even make that worth it. I've created even more space by taking this charger. I'm gonna put that in with the batteries when I'm not using it because that doesn't need to always be sitting out. Nor do all of these manuals, which I've now put into page protectors, and they're eventually gonna go in things like this. I'm a little worried though, because I only have two empty ones and I certainly don't have the space to put them up there, but we'll do our best with that. That's gonna be a future battle. This bootlego Nintendo is something that Budman found for $2 at a yard sale, and Clark and I played around with this a bit, and there are some absolutely cursed games on this. So this will be the star of a future video here on the channel, so you'll have to stay tuned for that. Speaking of videos, I was gonna make a video on this. This is a Hori Split Pad Compact, and it's our favorite alternative to the regular Joy-Cons that are on the Switch, but I just never made the video, and I don't know if I'm actually going to, but I saved the box so I could show it. I'm probably never gonna make the video. This, this is something that I bought back in December out of nostalgia. It was a time I was getting into the Sony spirit and I started thinking back to my childhood and something that I had then that I thought would take me back if I could open the box. I've been sitting on this too because I wanted to make a video on it. I guess this is that video, why not? It's a Sony Walkman. In fact, it's the very first Walkman that I ever owned. Let me get some good lighting on this so you can see it closer. It's a WM FX10 and it's brand new. Never been used, never touched, never out of the packaging. And I just thought that was really crazy. I got a great deal on this. I put a really low offer in thinking that they would just turn me down. They accepted it, probably because there's no one out there that actually wants these, but that's my Walkman from when I was a child and I don't have it anymore, so now I do. And will I ever use it? I don't know. It's more of a collector's piece at this point, I suppose. The best part about it though is that that box is out of here. Speaking of going for flights, this is a Black Friday deal that I got, I think a few years ago from Dell. It's a Thrustmaster HOTUS 1, and you can use this for Microsoft Flight Simulator, and that's what my plan was gonna be, but I never set it up. And now at this point, the new flight simulator is coming out in a few months, so I might just wait for that and make a whole video playing the game and flying it properly with a flight stick. I think that's gonna be really cool. Just have to find a place to keep it in the meantime. I pretty much filled every space here, but I think maybe like right back here. That way I see it every time I'm getting boxes. Stay tuned, Microsoft Flight Simulator, is it 2025? Whatever the new one is. What a difference that made though. We hardly have anything left on here. I'm gonna put this into my personal collection and uh, the rest of this is just kind of like cleaning supplies. We're gonna be 
kind of working that into this area. I'll do what I do best though, which is to move things around and try to make it make sense and hopefully jettison some things as well that I'm never gonna use from there. Remember back when I started this video and I said I had the whole afternoon to do this project? Let me just show you the time. It's 7.46 p.m. and I just finished with the front end or front corner of the storage room of Doom. And overall, even though this took me the entire day, I'm pretty darn happy with how this turned out, particularly having this workbench completely cleared off now. Down below here, we've got my RC parts in that toolbox that you saw before. And then I've got my other toolboxes sitting right over here. So any tools that I need or parts that I need, everything should be right there. Moving over here, I took my hardware and I put it on this stand that has a lot more level. This thing's a little, little droopy. <laughs> And that works so much better. So if I ever need anything out of here, it's all right there for me. And I, I love the way that that looks too. Over beside this, I organized this quite heavily. I have to say, if I ever need any kind of light bulb for any purpose at all, of any color, temperature, it's all in here. Speaking of lights, I put this little desk lamp up here. So I have a little bit more light in the corner. I went ahead and put all of my cables up there. If I ever need those, I can just pull those down. And the rest of this is kind of just miscellaneous stuff, but I do have a little bit of space left here. And by a little, I mean a very little, but all my batteries are nicely organized. And I like the way that that turned out. We've got my helicopters sitting here. All this stuff is like cleaning materials and uh, glue, WD-40, all that stuff that you, that you use is there. This is the one thing that really doesn't have a home. Not sure where I'm gonna put this TV, but I imagine once I get the Lego stuff more sorted out in the rest of the storage room, I'll have a place for this. This is just for playing old video games on and testing them out. I ended up moving this thing over here and I feel like that's a great spot for it. I moved some chairs out of the way so that can sit in there. And that was kind of like an unused space and now it's being used and I'm pretty happy with that too. What I'm not happy with though, happy with a lot of things, but not this, these are well, that's some old like tools and things like miscellaneous, like household stuff that you would use for repairs that I haven't used in years. And then this is all my painting stuff. And I actually have a painting corner that's like way back there behind all the Lego stuff by my eBay shipping area. And I kind of want to put that back there. And I have some extra of these, believe it or not. And I thought that'd be great to put a couple three drawer things right there and utilize that space so much better because this is stuff that I never ever get into or touch. So that's just taking up valuable space. And this is a really good spot right here. Like this is where I walk in and this, well, speaking of walking, look how much walking ability we have here now. This is fantastic, but this is a big waste of space. This is probably my next thing that I take on that's outside of the world of Lego because everything else in here, all the other trouble that I'm into, it's all Lego related. This is all Lego. That's all Lego. That's all Lego. I even have Lego on Cody's shelf where I've built sets, Lego. Uh, all of this is like my childhood storage, all of my toys and things. So I'll probably get into that eventually. These are my boxes of boxes, which I need to go through again. My new Walkman, I just put there temporarily. And then this is the eBay stuff. And probably the biggest problem that I have are my Lego boxes. I either need to, I, I think I just need to part with them probably, but these things need sorted out and gone through. And I could just do a whole lot in here to fix this place up and it definitely needs it. So there will be a lot more Sword Room of Doom content coming, particularly in the Lego space, which some of that might find its way onto Brickatech because that's Lego stuff. And you're not necessarily here for that. You're here for the organization, but I like this. All of that looks really great and all, right? But as soon as I turn the camera, this is all Lego stuff that came from yard sales that just like, it's overflow. So this will be Lego related content. And once I have this cleared out, that's a huge space too. And then these, I kind of just put these out of the way for now because I'm gonna need way more three ring binders than I have. I have two and I have an entire box full of manuals. So again, lots more work to do. This is just the beginning of the battle but it feels good to have a space. This might look like, wow, Greg, it's barely noticeable. And that's kind of how I feel too. This feels like when I sort Lego and I spend hours doing it. And then I look at the pile that I still need to sort and it's way bigger than what I got done. And that's where I'm at in here, but you gotta make progress. And that's the whole idea of no zero days. Make progress towards your goals every day. Even if you spend all day, literally just taking care of a corner of your storage room of doom, that's one corner that's taken care of. How many corners can a guy possibly have? <laughs> Four, 
I have a lot more than that to do, but I'm going to bring you along with me on that journey on here and on my Lego channel. So make sure you're subscribed to Brickitect if you want to see all that stuff. But I appreciate you coming along with me on this journey and organizing. I know this may be like the most boring thing ever, but I also hear from people that it's kind of inspiring too. And maybe you have a spot, maybe you have a desk that just, you'd like to be clean like this. Seriously, you can do it. It just takes some time. And now it's, it's 7.52 and I'm calling it a wrap for today. Hope you enjoyed and uh, we'll see you in the next video of Greg versus the storage room of doom, 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 doom. And if you're wondering all the things I jettisoned, I have a whole pile of it out here on the stairs and on the floor. Some of it's donated, some of it's thrown away, some of it's burnt, all of it's gone.